Welcome back to Bulgaria and welcome back to Bedin Vidin in our Football Manager 24 Build a Nation Save. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of our Build a Nation Save here in Bulgaria as the manager of Bidin. Uh, now we have reached the point in the season, uh, as I said we would, where we'd come back and take on Marseille. Now, of course we are chasing down the French in the coefficients. We were here last time for the win over Lyon. Uh, we, now, we have qualified for the next stage of the Champions League already, which is absolutely fine. Uh, we're still going to take on the Marseille game. We're having a very, a very good season. Uh, we're actually in silly season at the minute, with it being the, the 23rd of January. Uh, and let's have a look at some of the bids that are coming in. You know, Dan Zabe is not not really <laughs> the money for Dan Zabe. But, uh, you know, Castles is linked with uh, with with teams. Uh, if we go just a little bit further down, uh, when I find it, Arsenal offer for Costa, uh, 64 million. We're up to for Costa at the minute. Um, there is others. Uh, we've got Elias as well, of course. I'd ignore that one. That's me doing all my scouting. Uh, Napoli are in for Zanis. That's at 23 million pound. Uh, there's there's lots and lots of uh, of players who are in who other teams are interested in you know Elias is at 35 there 30 uh, they're still climbing though guys it's still early in the transfer window really uh, when we think about it there'll be a lot of higher bids than this coming in uh, towards the end of the transfer window we'll be getting upwards for a hundred million pound in terms of how the season's gone though it's been absolutely fantastic uh, you can see that we've a sea of greens. We've had one defeat in the league, and it was to, to Levski Sofia. Uh, and that's it. We've won the rest. We're absolutely flying at the top of the FBET League. Uh, one draw against uh, Plovdiv. That was disappointing because we were actually, I think, 3 0 up in that one. Um, yeah, it, it was really, really disappointing. Uh, we were 3 0 up in that one, and we we blew a three goal lead, really. It was, it was highly, highly disappointing. Uh, Champions League wise it's going quite well as well like I said we have qualified we're currently sat in fifth position on 13 points Barcelona are absolutely flying uh, there's no catching them at the minute uh, they did beat us again but our goal difference is looking really really good uh, as well in terms of the French clubs we've got PSG and Marseille in 14th and 15th so hopefully we can uh, beat Marseille today Lyon are, are struggling to get through which is um, which is good to see in terms of the other clubs as well in Bulgaria, they're not having the best of seasons. Ludogorets are up here with eight points. We've got uh, CSK also on eight points. Levski Sofia, though, are having an absolute stinker so far with just the two points. Uh, and I also did say that uh, I wasn't quite sure when we got the 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 second or the sixth European spot. And I've actually I was looking in here, which is the mistake. It's in here where I want to look in the Championship group. Uh, so at the end of this season. We're going to get two teams straight into the league phase of the Champions League. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, time will tell. Obviously, it could help the whichever club that is, uh, which is more than likely going to be CSK because they're 10 points clear of a third place. Uh, it, then it can only help them financially. You know, they, They're not too bad financially. They've also got some really, really good players coming through their ranks as well. Uh, the signs that are making, uh, things like that, You know, in terms of how CSK... We're doing. Uh, so, yeah, we're here to take on Marseille. In terms of how the actual Champions League itself has gone, of course, we beat Lyon away in France. It was a disappointing 2-0 defeat to Barcelona, but uh, it was a, a much closer game than the last time we played them at the Nou Camp. 2-0 uh, win over Milan, which was a fantastic. Fernando Baron, our former player, uh, came off the bench uh, really late on, actually. 83rd minute, so... Uh, n nice to get the win. 3-0 over Bodo, 3-0 over Portugal, and a 0-0 draw uh, at home to Real Madrid. They did. We were actually the favourites for this, but uh, Real Madrid absolutely battered us, uh, to be fair to them. Uh, so in terms of how we're looking coefficient-wise so far in the season, guys, uh, it's not great compared to France. We're on 6.5, they're on 9. It's not going great so far. Uh, we're, we're outscoring Portugal, which is good to maintain that sixth spot. Uh, as things stand, uh, so we yeah, but we need to we need to be really beating these French teams uh, as quickly as we can. Now, one thing I will point out is today's game against Marseille is in fact our first fixture uh, for a month and a half. Uh, of course, we've had the winter break, so we're going to have some tired legs, and 
it, it could be the same for for Marseille as well. To be fair, um, no, <laughs> it's not going to be the same for Marseille. They look like they're quite fit. They could have had a bit of a preseason. Uh, anyway, let us get into the game. Uh, a big, big game it's going to be. We do have a little bit of an injury to Lima. I think Danzabe is injured as well. Uh, he is indeed. So unfortunately, unfortunately, Lima's going to have to play with an injury, uh, which is not great. Do I have anybody else who can play out there? That would be the the big thing. I, Arujo possibly could, but he's also injured. Villa suspended after getting sent off against Real Madrid. No, is the answer. Uh, I do not have, do not have another right-sided defender. Thomas could, mm. yes, I do. Thomas Cudela, get yourself in, son. Uh, it's got to be better than an injured player. Surely, I don't think I've even got a player who can go on the bench because of injuries and suspensions uh, and whatnot. Any? Oh, well, I've clicked back too many times. Can I please pick the team? Right, this is the team that we're going to play with today. Again, obviously, we're looking at injuries uh, and, and whatnot. You know, Martin, I think, is injured or he's not picked. I ha or I'm leaving him. No, he's there on the bench. But Navarro has been, uh, you know, 13 goals and 12 appearances for us so far. He's absolutely banging them in. So this is the formation that we're going to go with today. Uh, and it's going to be Zanis in goal. You know, our, our boy still developing. Still got some of this to hit. Still only 21 years old. We've got teams coming in with 20 plus million pound bids for him now, which sort of tells you how important he is to us. Kenny Lund, also under interest from Liverpool, Barcelona. He's unhappy because we didn't let him join Liverpool. And unfortunately, Kenny, I don't want to let you go anywhere again. Still a young man. Julian Brun has settled in very, very nicely. Could do with being a little bit better in the Champions League, but he is settling in. Uh, and he is showing some signs of improvement as well. Uh, good signing. Yeah, we definitely paid over the odds for him. Miljokovic, still a good signing. Uh, still a good player for us, but he is joining Al Khalij in July, unfortunately. So I am going to have to shop for a centre-half during the summer. I've decided not to make any first-team signings during the winter. There's a, a lot of fringe players, loan farm players coming. Uh, Kudela, who has had a good season again, he's going to obviously fill in on that right wing-back position uh, for the injured Lima. Costa and Elias, the two absolutely fantastic players that we've got in the centre of midfield. Uh, they're, they're both really, really good. I, in fact, I kind of want to swap them that way around. Uh, Medina, again, fantastic player for us. Y you can see that we've got teams coming in for him. They're, they're just a plethora of teams that are absolutely interested in him. Uh, but again, not going anywhere. David Royo, another one having an okay season. Obviously, we do sort of switch the formations and Royo can only really play here. I, I've got better options here, so I don't play him here. So he, he's been a squad player, shall we say, this season, despite how good he is. Uh, Charlie Castles, again, wanted by Tottenham clubs. You know, we got over up to £100 million for him in the, in the summer. Uh, but Charlie Castles, again, is another one having a good season. Could do with a little bit more goal contribution, but he's playing that as that pressing forward. And then Navarro uh, as the striker for today. Right then, guys, here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, I don't think we're left with any real players in this lineup. Uh, Savage, I've, I've potentially heard his name, but then maybe not. Could just be thinking of Gennaro Gattuso as the, as the manager of Marseille. Of course, we are away from home. We're in France which is going to make it all the more difficult for us. But if we play our game and play the way that we have done this season, then we've got every chance. But it is Marseille with the first highlight. It's Yahi on this left-hand side. Uh, gives it back to Dang Beto. Dang Beto, Elias with a good tackle. Reyes from the edge of the area, though. Zanis watches it over his bar. Uh, and that's uh, an early warning sign from Marseille. Marseille again with Mbok to Yahi. Bidding haven't really got going yet. It's It's been all Marseille. Yahi with a cross towards Hammond at the back post. It's headed clear by Miljokovic. Really important header. Uh, and Mara finds Bessé to Mara again. To Yahi. Plenty of room on that left-hand side. Cuts inside. And Jamal Yahi gets his 10th of the season and gives Marseille the lead. Uh, we're, we're, we're kind of struggling here a little bit, guys, uh, if, if I'm being honest. And if we sort of have a look at the, the match stats and the match momentum, you can, you can see that we are struggling. Uh, as Diarasubu with this free kick goes for goal himself. Zanis rooted to the spot. Uh, we may have to 
look to change formation at half time. But here's Kenny Lund. Gives the ball to Diogo Costa. Into Royo. Royo forward towards Navarro. He's got Medina outside of him. Can Medina use his pace to get round the defender? Uh, he delivers a cross into the box towards Charlie Castles. Headed clear though. Uh, and Yahi picks up the ball. Finds Mara. Blue shirt flooding back, but it's Hammond. Now Reyes. Reyes to Bessé. Back inside towards Mara. Now Diarasubu. They're feeding the ball forward nicely here, Marseille. Good ball out to the left hand side. And Yahi. Kudela with him. Kudela don't foul because you're on a yellow card, but it's Marseille still. That's going to be a penalty because football manager. Uh, Gonzalo Medina looks like he's going to give away this penalty. We are going to get a VAR review. I don't know why because it's it's clearly going to be given. Of course it is. Uh, and this is not going according to plan here in France. Dira Subu with the penalty. Zanis saves the penalty. We're still in this game, guys. We're still in this game. Obviously, the match sharpness is, is really not helping us. Um, it's going to be Hammond to take the corner, which is towards Mbok, and it's comfortable. Comfortable for Zanis. Uh, uh, he collects it well. Ten minutes to go to half time. I think we're going to have to make some changes at half time, guys. Uh, here's David Royo, though. Finding Kudela. Kenny Lund. We've seen Kenny give the ball away in this position before. Finds Julian Brun. Brun into the midfield and Costa. Costa towards Navarro. Out to the left hand side, Medina. Gave away that penalty, of course. Now Milijokovic. Milijokovic bringing the ball forward, leaving at the end of the season. Elias forward towards Castles. This is better from Bedin. It's Kudela on the right-hand side. Comes back to Kenny Lund. Diogo Costa out to the right-hand side and Kudela again. Can he deliver a cross? He can. It's low and it's poor and it's cleared by Mbok. And Dera Subu to bring the ball out. Finds Bernard. Bernard striding down this left-hand side. Nobody going to him. He's allowed to get the cross and it's a brilliant, brilliant goal uh, from Marseille point of view. But where was the closing down from a Bedin point of view? Drastic measures. Uh, drastic measures are going to have to be taken here, guys. I think uh, I'm, I'm not even going to wait till half time. It's just not working. Uh, we are going to go with this one, and we're going to we're going to make some changes. Can Kudela play as a right back? He can. He's more confident there, which is fantastic. Uh, so we're going to go Milijokovic off. We're going to get uh, Rodriguez on. Castles on the right hand side, uh, and we're going to go Martin and Navarro make those changes and hopefully that brings us some some better luck going forward because we're not in this game at all it's Marseille again though towards the back post and Bok headed clear by Brun and Bok collects the ball gives it back into the penalty area and Reyes Reyes checks back I thought that we were going to give another penalty away there it's Reyes again with the ball allowed to come inside on his left foot and he puts the ball in the back of the net and the match sharpness is just absolutely killing us here, guys. Which is totally my fault. I should have arranged some friendlies. Uh, and I'm kind of wishing I had now. Because we're just not in this game. At all. We need a huge, huge second half. Because uh, we've been absolutely battered here. Zanis is the only one who's, who's playing well. I'm going to shout at them. I'm going to shout at them. I'm going to hopefully they they uh, they book their ideas up in the second half. We at least register a shot, guys. That would be fantastic. Here's Zanis finds Kenny Lund. Kenny with the ball, bringing it out. He's got uh, he's got Cadela outside of him. Goes himself instead. Now finds Navarro. Elias. This is better. Costa towards Rodriguez. Came on the pitch, of course. Finds Medina outside of him. Medina in the area has the effort. It's saved by Savage. In goal for Marseille, but that is much, much better from a bidding point of view. And now it's Charlie Castles to take the corner. It's a deep one towards the back post, and Julian Brunt didn't even get up for that. Uh, Navarro, though, keeps it alive. He's going to come back to Medina. This, this move's going to break down. Uh, yeah, but corner, Rodriguez. Again, deep towards Kenny Lund this time. Kenny Lund gets there, uh, gets his second of the season, and there's one back for Bidin. Uh, obviously, the, the, the rocket up the players. At half time has, uh, has has worked. It's a it's a good corner, and it's a great header with two defenders around him. But here come Marseille again. It's Hammond with the corner for Marseille towards Mbok. Headed clear again, and it's a different Mbok who picks the ball up. Hammond tackled well by Elias. Gives the ball to Navarro. It's a poor pass to Martin though, and it's cut out by Mbok, who gives the ball straight to the left hand side. And Hammond comes inside, switches the ball to the other side, and Pelletier. I think that's how that's pronounced. Probably not, but. Uh, <laughs> is how I'm pronouncing it. Pelletier 
Uh, we will we'll say. Uh, Mbok. To Mbok. Must be twin brothers. <laughs> Pelletier. Finds Mara. Back to Pelletier again. Blue shirts around the ball. Martin nearly got in there. It's C Mbok. To Dang Beto with a good ball over the top towards Tirasumba. Uh, it's 4 1 to Marseille. 4-1 to Marseille. There were shoots of improvement from a bidding point of view, but uh, the match sharpness is is just it's just catching up to us, guys. And uh, we're going to have to make some changes again. We're going to bring Navarro off. We're going to swap these two around. Uh, that's four subs. Uh, no, definitely not you, mate. Definitely not you. Let's get Malcolm Allison on for Costa, who's on a yellow card. Um, I know they're not really fresh legs because of the match sharpness, uh, but it you know it's still fresher than the ones we've just taken off. This has been a really poor performance, and I'm sure that the last time we came to France and played Marseille, we got uh, we got battered then as well, a few seasons ago. Now, uh, Rodriguez with the corner, deep one again towards Kenny Lund. Savage claims this one though. I've just noticed that Cadela's on a 6.1 rate, and of course he's playing out of position. Uh, again, with the match sharpness and, and whatnot, he's, he's uh, uh, yeah. Ten minutes to go, and here's Reyes. It's Pelletier. This it's just been too easy for Marseille to get through the lines. Uh, and Bock finds Tuputi to Dirasuba. Good ball forward towards Bernard. Great save from Zanis. Was Bernard on side? No, he was offside, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. Still a good save from from Zanis. And that's the end, guys. That is the end. Zanis and Lund, the only two have had a decent match rating, but I, f I kind of feel that uh, Kenny's is, is overinflated by the fact that he did score a goal. Tom Scudella with a 6.1, which I'm not really going to blame him for. I did play him out of position. Uh, Rodriguez did well when he came on, a 6.9, but again, he's got an assist from the corner. Three key passes, though, which, you know, is pretty decent, but um, just completely outperformed. Completely completely outperformed and I am going to go and say that that's partly on the match fitness which is of course my fault uh, right that's um, that's really poor that's really poor and now we have qualified but it's whether we qualify straight into the round of 16 or we're going to have to go through the knockout of course we're going to have to wait until the next match which is Dinamo Zagreb in seven days and we're still not match fit so uh, Barca, Tottenham and Napoli have qualified straight away for the for the uh, round of 16. Marseille jump above us. PSG looks like they possibly drew. They did. They drew Porto. That's, that's an okay result. That's the one that's letting us down uh, at the minute, though, unfortunately. And then in terms of coefficients, that's going to have jumped them. You know, even further ahead of us. Uh, unfortunately, so not not great, guys. Not great. Uh, we've got loads of loans going out, you know, loads of loans. We're up to 98 players out on loan now. This will probably make it 99 uh, once Ek Jorgensen, who is a new signing, by the way, a free transfer, uh, once he goes out. But he's, you know, with this CA and PA, it's what he's been brought in to do, to go out on loan. Uh, so hopefully he does quite well there. We've got, you know, there's several of them. There's uh, Hakon Helland Randers, who has... Not going out on loan, but he should be going out on loan. But again, he's, you know, 19. He's got that for current ability and that for potential ability. Look at his, you know, physicals. He's potentially ready to be into the first team uh, already. Uh, so we have signed some decent players. In terms of the episode, though, guys, that is not going to be it. It's not going to be it because we're going to do the draw for the next round because we are in the next round. Uh, I'm going to go and do the Dinamo Zagreb though, a game, though. Uh, and then I'll come back and I will do the draw. Uh, so until then, guys, um, catch up with you in a minute. Right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we have reached it, the point of the uh, the Champions League draw. We did beat Daniel Zagreb at 3-2. Uh, it was a lot closer than I would have liked, unfortunately. But it was Diogo Costa, Stoyan Orachev and Charlie Castles with the goal. We were much the better team. Uh, it's just really disappointing to concede the two goals to Dinamo Zagreb. So where we finished was P9 in the end uh, so it's it's a knockout round basically um, we, we didn't get straight into the round of 16 unfortunately we do have some French clubs coming through with us which is PSG uh, Marseille and Lyon uh, they've all come through to the uh, to the knockout round in terms of how the Europa League went Ren and Monaco both qualified in the top eight unfortunately so again the French have done particularly well uh, we do have a qualifier from Bulgaria, though, in CSK 1948. You can see them there in 15th 
position. Unfortunately, Ludogorets did miss out, as did Levski Sofia. It was a very, very poor showing from Levski Sofia. Uh, so, at, at effectively, the midway point of the season, we can see here uh, that France have absolutely smashed us. Uh, unfortunately, in terms of coefficient points, uh, they're, they're not too far away from going 20 in front of us again as things stand. They're currently only 11 in front of us. It's it's not been a great season uh, as far as Bulgaria are concerned uh, compared to the French. Let's have a look at the draw though. Uh, like I say, it is the knockout round uh, for today uh, because, because of where we did qualify. Uh, if we click on the start draw, we'll click the speed to zero. We've got John Heitinger uh, doing the draw for us today. Uh, we are seeded, so we'll be away from home in the first leg. It's Celtic first out the draw, uh, and they're going to be at home to Real Sociedad in the first match out of the hat there. Next up, we have Bayern Munich. Let's try and avoid Bayern Munich if we can. Uh, and it is going to be PSG. Hopefully Bayern Munich do quite well. They're defending champions, I believe, Bayern Munich, uh, if I remember rightly. At uh, Dortmund. Dortmund are going to be facing off against Chelsea. Uh, another interesting game there. Who do we want out of who's left? I would take Shakhtar, Young Boys and Ajax, really. <laughs> Maybe even Porto. We've beaten Porto before, I think. Uh, Porto are going to face off against Milan. So, Porto against AC Milan there. Uh, match at five. We're running out of teams. Although, I think that all the ones left are, are beatable. Uh, it is Lyon. And Lyon are going to be facing off against Marseille. We've got an all-French tie there. So, there is going to be a French team going through, unfortunately. But there's also going to be a French team going out, uh, which is a little bit helpful. Uh, Shakhtar. Shakhtar are drawn against Roma, uh, which leaves us with either Ajax or Young Boys. And it's going to be Ajax out first. It's either Bidin or Man City. And it's going to be Man City, which means we get young boys. I think that's a, a quite an easy tie, uh, if I'm being entirely honest. Not to take any way, anything away uh, from young boys, uh, but we, we've played once and it was a draw. Uh, I can imagine it was quite some time ago. I can't remember playing young boys uh, recently, it's good that we're getting a French team out, but it does also mean that we're getting a French team through, uh, which is a little bit disappointing uh, on that side of things. In terms of the Champions League knockout, let me just click continue, go forward, so it actually puts the fixtures in, and we can have a look at the past meetings properly. Uh, it was a 1-1 draw in 2039, so it was only actually two years ago. Uh, it was in a friendly, it was in a friendly, so we've not actually faced them in European football. Uh, that is going to be for the next episode though, guys. We're going to do the double header against Young Boys. It's not too far away now. As you can see that we're, we're in the pre-season. Uh, we're not too far away from the season starting up again. Um, so we will get back into it. In terms of transfers that have come in uh, since then, there's actually been a few free transfer signings. Uh, yeah, there's been a few fringe players come in. I did show you Randers earlier on. Uh, a very promising winger uh, so hopefully we can get something out of him I don't think we've sold anybody uh, was, Shimano Nani is gone nothing nothing of real note uh, has gone out the door in the, uh, in the winter but that's going to wrap it up for today guys we'll be back for the next episode again uh, bearing just like bear with me in terms of episodes this is a hobby of mine uh, and it gets done in my spare time if I haven't got any spare time I don't get an episode done and it's uh, obviously at the time of recording this one it's now been a couple of weeks uh, since we've had an, had an episode I just I just haven't got the time um, it is a hobby I, I'm not forcing myself to, to put episodes out uh, I will do them when I can <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line of it basically um, but yeah cheers guys thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you uh, for the games against young boys